When redistricting made the new North Carolina 6th District an almost certain Republican seat, the candidates came from what seemed like everywhere to run for it. Including the man who held the seat from 2014 to 2020. The new version of the district runs much farther south from High Point through Kannapolis. But as you'll see in tonight's Your Local Election Headquarters edition of the Buckley Report, Mark Walker says his record in those three terms is what should convince voters to send him back to Washington. Chad, any updates on what? After a brief flirtation with running for governor, Mark Walker is asking for his old job back as he switches races to run for the North Carolina 6th District Congressional seat. Why are you the best candidate for this job? Because we are the only candidate of the 6th that has a proven conservative track record. In fact, we're the highest rated conservative to ever serve in U.S. House leadership. Walker is referring to the three terms he served as the sixth district representative between 2014 and 2020 before the district was redrawn to heavily favor a Democrat. But now that it is almost certainly a Republican seat, Walker says he got significant encouragement from the highest levels of the U.S. House leadership. Speaker Mike Johnson was one of the guys that said, we need you back. Though he may have said that, U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson is officially staying neutral in the NC6 race. But Johnson and Walker share a lot of positions, including tying issues like aid for Ukraine to having a secure southern border. We've got to make sure that our resources and our ability uh, to defend ourselves uh, stays at the top of its game. Uh, and I think number one on that priority is before I can go and sign for a, a truckload more money, cash going to Ukraine, I want to see some legislation, even if it's as simple as like bringing back the remain in Mexico policy, something there that we can stop the influx. That influx at the border includes significant human trafficking, an issue Walker was concerned about before he first ran 10 years ago and worked on while he was in Congress. The drug cartels control the entire border. And the fact this administration sees the same intel that I've been privy to see and yet still kind of gives this open-minded green light for this. I think it's an abomination. You mentioned the cartels run the border. Yes. Does that mean that we have to put our own troops down there to fight that? We're very short, first of all, on border agents, and they're doing more humanitarian needs as much as they are securing the border. Uh, in December, they apprehended more than 300,000. How many did we not apprehend? So to answer your question, yes. Walker has serious concerns about how the federal government appears to have plans to house hundreds of migrants at the former American Hebrew Academy in Greensboro, but refuses to provide any information on who they might be or what their future is, which leads to a bigger question. We still have millions of illegal people here, many of them known to be bad actors. Sure. What do we do? with these people? Well, to me it's simple. We deport them. You gotta find them first. You gotta find them first. But, but there's, I, in serving in Congress, I raised my right hand, took an oath to protect the Constitution, which ultimately is protecting the people of this, of this country. Mm -hmm. I would be remiss if I didn't put every ounce of energy to be promoting legislation that does round up bad actors and make sure that they get back to their country of origin. Uh, I think that's, that should be a, a nonpartisan issue that we want to protect the citizens of this country. You don't make any bones about being pro-life. Yes, sir. But the abortion issue hasn't been a winning one for your party. We have not done well when it comes to sharing the compassion and the heart of, of trying to understand the plight of many of these young women who feel like they do not have an option. It's very easy for conservatives to say, well, you don't have a choice here, but it, from her perspective, she doesn't feel like that she has a choice. Walker is more concerned about changing the hearts and minds of pregnant women than setting limits on how long abortion should be available. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. You can see the profiles of all six candidates in this race on our website, myfox8.com. Well, tomorrow